Namaskar friends. That is my grandmother's house and I am Kritika and you are watching Kritika's Innovation. And today here I am going to explain you about the structure of a complete flower. First let me tell you there are two, two types of flowers. One is complete flower and another is incomplete flower. Examples of complete flower are China rose. Incomplete flower are cucumber flower, papaya flower. So now first let understand this picture. This stem which we hold is known as pedicel. There are five this leaf like structures but I draw only two. These are known as calyx or sepal. This helps in photosynthesis. The end portion of the flower. This is the swollen end of the flower from where the flower begins. This is known as receptacle or thalamus. Now these are the petals which is also known as corolla. This is bisexual or complete flower consists of two parts which is known as pistil or gynosium and androsium or stamen. Pistil or gynosium produce female gametes and androsium or stamen produce male gametes. Pistil or gynosium consists of four parts. They are stigma, style, ovary and ovules. And androsium or stamen contains of only two parts, which are anther and filament. Stigma is the opening part of the flower from where the anther or pollen grain center. Style is the long polar tube. Ovary is this, the circle part. And ovules are the small eggs, which are also known as female gametes. Androsium or stamen contains two parts. Anther. It is anther is also known as pollen grains. Filament is the long stalk on which the anther is stuck. You look at the picture and then I will explain it with an original flower. Now I take a real complete flower. I explain the remaining parts of the flower in my next video. And that video I will explain it with a real flower and you must got it. So come to see my next video on this link below.